Hey, what's up everyone? So today I'm gonna to show you how I have been able to get sound from my projector to my brand new Sonos Arc surround sound system. In doing this, I ran into multiple complications, tried just about every cable you could get, and still kept running into issues. So I finally found a way where it works really well and I have great quality sound and just wanted to share that with you. So the first thing I'm gonna let you know is this will be a requirement to make this happen, is you will need an HDMI matrix box, which is right here. So they also refer to this as a switcher. Um, you can get these in all kinds of different sizes. There's a four by two. Um, this here means that you can have four inputs. So you could plug in like your Xbox, your PlayStation, your computer, or your Blu-ray player. And then you have two outputs. So this will run to two separate screens at the same time. So you can run it to one screen if you choose, because you can actually shut them off and turn them on. But the other thing you'll need is, show you the back of this here, is there is an optical plug-in right here. So this here would come from your Sonos Arc soundbar. So the Arc is the audio return channel. And come to find out, most projectors, or all projectors, are not compatible with this surround sound system. So I have done tons of research for the last four days and just kept getting stonewalled. Um, the Epson uh, projector actually says in order to send a signal out of it that you will use a 3.5 millimeter audio cable that would plug into here, except that does not work. So maybe if you had um, a standard receiver and not just like a sound bar like this, that may work great. But in this case, if you're running the Sonos Arc setup as I am, then you will need to use one of these matrix boxes and run things like I'm gonna show you here. So we have our soundbar plugged in here using our optical adapter cable to plug it into the back of this box. There is a switch on the back of this that actually allows you to run the embedded or the Arc channel. So this channel here is actually a 1080p channel. So these two here will run 1080p. This output number one runs 4K. And then you have your four inputs. So you could plug in things to each one of these inputs. And on the front side of this, you can actually say which output you want to send the signal to. So the way I have it set up here specifically um, this is absolutely the only way that I think that you will be able to get surround to your soundbar is by using an outside source. So my source is actually my Xbox. So I have an Xbox Series X here. Just want to clarify, all this is on the ground because this is brand new. Still trying to set things up. So um, my outside source is my Xbox. My Xbox is sending the signals to the box, and then both of these signals are actually being projected to my projector and then also to my television. So I'm gonna show you here, having these hooked up this way, how they are both receiving sound. They even have this same exact image right now because I have it selected. So I have this here selected on, that's plugged into input number one, we'll show you there. And then you have your output one and output two. So I'm gonna switch this around here. So I'm gonna put this output is receiving the input number one, which is right here. And this output number two is also receiving number one. So you could change these. Um, I'll give you an example here. So this one, right here is output number one, which is going to the television up there. So output number one is right here. So if I click this, it will no longer be on, it'll no longer receive that channel because it's gonna leave input number one, which 
that is currently plugged into input number one. So we're gonna push this and then the TV went black. So I'm gonna push it back to number one and it comes right back on. Sorry for the reflection of the light up there. And the same thing goes for the projector. So now I do not have my screen down, but we will let the projector turn on here. It takes just a moment. While that's turning on, I'm going to show you that there's sound playing. So that sound is currently going to the projector and the television. Now it is just to the projector. We will go ahead and turn that off. Um, so hopefully this is helpful. Down below, I will put a link to this. I did look at multiple different matrix uh, switches and um, I purchased a $50 one, a $90 one, and a $450 box. And I ended up going with the $90 box. Uh, you don't need four inputs probably, but I just wanted to make sure I had enough and wasn't sure what I needed. So I just bought one that was uh, compatible with ARC. That was the biggest thing, was finding something that had the audio return channel and having some sort of adjustments for it. So on the back of them, not all of them will have all of the same connections or even be 2.0. You really want to run like 2.0 for the ARC channels. Um, the ARC soundbar is not compatible with any projector that I found out there. Like there is no simple straightforward connection where you could plug your projector into your Sonos surround sound system. And it's pretty inconvenient and a bit depressing because we spent so much money on all of our surround sound stuff only to have it not work. So um, I'm very thankful that there was actually a way to make this work. And I'm thankful that it turned out the way it did because it absolutely sounds amazing. And the quality of the video is pretty nice as well. I'm gonna go ahead and lower this just to show you and I'll turn turn the light off here it's a little faded because the, the Xbox went into sleep mode so there we go brightens it up turn the controller on so we have it like this there's our beautiful screen. I'm gonna go ahead and come over here. This is the sound for it. And then you can see our projector there. So after spending the last four days on trying to get this set up correctly and feeling pleased. This is where we ended up. Um, it turned out pretty well. You can see I still have my level on my screen there, but it is pretty exciting to have this good quality surround sound still being able to play through the Epson projector. Uh, I did purchase a projector that was a smart projector, so it connects to like Android. Um, and as far as that goes, those functions for the projector are pretty much useless if I want surround sound because I cannot get a signal directly from the projector to the uh, sound bar, which is also the receiver. Um, and I don't think it is possible. I think that this Sonos system here is much more advanced than the Epson projector, even though they're both brand new products. Um, and the sound is basically, if you wanna use some of the smart features on your projector, you're gonna be limited to the speaker on the projector, which I believe is like maybe 20 watts or something like that. So uh, definitely doesn't compare to the good quality Sonos surround sound setup. Um, also, Sonos does not allow 
uh, Bluetooth connections, you have to use an app. And if like there's no Epson app, so you can't connect your Epson to your to your soundbar. Um, again, I spent about four days trying to get all this to work and integrate with each other to where I can get that good sound. And this is the way that it had to work was by using the Xbox. So hopefully this information is helpful. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any insight or input to add to this, please feel free to share. And i um, really glad I was able to even make it this far. And uh, please feel free to like and comment and subscribe for future videos. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys.